guys radio garage back on the bench here going to be doing an evaluation video for uh, William now I'm doing this for two reasons uh, number one because he's not sure what's wrong with the radio he, he's saying it's um, basically not doing anything all right from what I remember from the email it's, it lights up but it doesn't transmit doesn't receive uh, I think he said the only thing that lit lit up was the channel display okay and um, he wanted to send it in but he's not sure if it's worth repairing so I said send it in I'll check it out and then depending on what I find you could decide uh, if you want to get it repaired if it's something like that you know um, that's not crazy uh, I forget even what radio it is honestly right now it can't be I don't know maybe it's a galaxy or something like that uh, this is not too big of a box so it can't be anything real huge but um, I'm gonna check it out on, on camera here so uh, he sees you know that uh, exactly what I find uh, at the same time and the second reason is now I do have this on here to just hide the address um, of the customer here but second reason is this thing got beat to hell okay so if this has any damage on it or anything like that I mean it's already a broken radio but uh, this thing just got annihilated okay um, I, I guess I should I shouldn't say annihilate I mean I have seen worse but there's obviously um, we're missing some some packing material probably in the corners and uh, the other thing is these I've said it before the flat rate boxes are the thinnest boxes out of all of them I do use them myself but when I use flat rate boxes I take another cardboard box and I'll uh, cut it up to the size of the sides okay and then I just um, I make corner protectors for um, the ins and I stick it in the insides on all four corners and the sides you just got to reinforce the inside that's all all right, let's get this thing. Uh, let me get my knife. Okay, and we'll see what this thing's doing. It's uh, hopefully a quick video and I'll keep the camera rolling. And uh, I was notified that I'm having some problems with the site, guys. The website. If if it's not loading for you guys, let me know. All right, get in touch with me if you're looking for something and it's not loading. I don't know why the site sometimes gives issues for certain people. All right, now, actually, the I mean, the packing job isn't that bad. He actually does have quite a bit of packing material, so they just really, um, they just really beat this thing. Yeah, I mean, I can't fault you too much. What is it? It's a U oh, it's a unit in. It's a unit in PC-122. Wow, I did not remember you saying that. Okay, cool, very cool. Yeah, I could see why you'd want to, um get this one fixed yeah this very very good radio I this is actually one that I, I need to get in my collection um, so yeah that's we're all good let me uh, let me pull my chair over and now a uh, four pin. Let me get a four pin mic. Okay, I'm just gonna use a stock mic here. Plug a microphone in. Plug a dummy load in. Prop it up, and right now we're on channel two. Just going to come on, camera stay. Just gonna run through here, make sure it's doing what he said. He said it would scroll through the channels, which is correct. All right, I always like to start around 19 or 20, middle of the band. We'll go at 19. I'm gonna key it up. First thing we're gonna do is watch for this here to turn. Okay, so he's right, nothing. And uh, let me make sure, you know what? Let me make sure that, uh, yeah, we're just gonna check up here to verify. There's the meter. Yep, no output. You guys can see I got the scope on, I got the bird hooked up and the LP, so we got no output. Okay, second thing I'm gonna do is check it on sideband. Key it up again. Hello, 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 hello. No output. And uh, 
try every mode. Hello, hello, hello. Nothing. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is take this PACB switch and make sure this isn't our problem. So kind of sometimes wiggle that back and forth. Still not coming on. Okay. Let's check uh, RF gain. Yep, he's right. No volume. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn the camera off. I'm going to take the screws out of here and um, I'm going to check the inside. Uh, actually, before I do that, I want to uh, plug an external speaker in and make sure that it's not just the speaker that is giving the trouble. And still no sound. On any of the modes. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to open it up. Alright, so I got the cover off and uh, I'm not seeing anything obvious. You know, uh, as far as, you know, broken traces or burn marks or anything like that, or uh, really, really obvious broken solder joints, something like that. Uh, so, Probably what I'm gonna have to do, as you can see here, we don't see any like blown up caps, nothing, you know, uh, uh, nothing melted, just kind of like obvious stuff. I don't smell anything burnt. A lot of times you could smell something. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go through this for a little while. Uh, you know, I could probably afford to uh, spend like a uh, half hour to an hour on this thing, kind of troubleshooting it, uh, and then, I'm either going to find it or I'm not and then uh, you know he's going to have to decide if he wants to uh, put the money into you know uh, me me researching this more or um, you know so what, whatever but yeah let me um, let me poke around with this thing for a while see what I come up with well we got received back but uh, that was a bad solder joint right over here by the PLL but uh, we still don't have transmit, so still got to work on that. So it's two two separate problems we got going on here, multiple problems. So receives back, see if we get transmit back. We're getting there. We got a uh, transmit, but not uh, we're switching. We got transmit switching, but still no output. All right. So, uh, this ended up being the CBPA switch. I, I moved it around a few more times, and I finally got it to, uh, to start switching. So, we had an issue with that, which, uh, you know, I did originally try that, but it was still, I guess, I just had to clear it out a little bit more, you know, cycle that switch a few more times. But, uh, yeah, now we got to find the output. So, we're getting there close. All right. Finally got her. One, two. She's transmitting. Uh, and then some more bad solder joints right in this area here. So uh, it was actually there. It was hiding under this little uh, ground plate, ground shield that was uh, right there. So we uh, flowed all that area. And looks like she's up and running. We got transmit. We got receive. What's she doing on the meter here? Audio check. Break, break, break. One, two, three, four, five. Doing about 17 watts. Put it on peak for the bird. Audio check break. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, 17, 18 watts. And put it on uh, sideband. One, two, three, four. Monitor radio is on AM. That's why it sounds screwed up. About 18 on sideband. So she got good power on both modes. And uh, I'll get with you and see what you want to do now to this thing. All right. All right, we're back, and this thing is all done. I got it upside down right now, but I'm just going to show you the covers. We got it uh, recapped. I end up, I'm just going to tack this on to the other part of the video. Originally, I was just going to do an evaluation video, but I got it all done. I'm just going to add this on to the rest of the video here. But, uh, yep, it's all recapped. Upgraded a, your, your main DC cap and your 8-volt cap um, for your feed lines. But besides that, regular recap. Then we did the clarifier unlock, did a high cut filter, and um, just something mild, kind of take that little bit of extra static out, but um, it's not on a switch or nothing, so I didn't, I didn't go aggressive with it. 
So let's just see what this thing's doing for uh, carrier and stuff like that. Came out great. These are great radios. Okay. Let's see what uh, we can get in here on the screen. It's doing about four and a half. Yep, about four, four and a half. Now, this does not have a mic gain control or a RF power control or anything like that on the outside, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 17 watts, 17 watts AM peak, take the sideband, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 17 watts on sideband, okay, back the camera up, just going to run through this quick, um, so you can see it's working, functioning good, I'll show you that the clarifier is unlocked, I'm going to show you the scope pattern right now quick on the uh, audio generator, or uh, not on the audio, on the scope. Plug it in the audio generator. Okay, there is our um, carrier with the audio. Whoops. And, oh, I'm in sideband. That's the problem. Now, here we go. AM. There's our signal. Nice, pretty signal. Okay. Very, very nice. These, of course, always come out great. All right. Now I'll let you hear it over the air. And I'll, uh, I'll vary the clarifier on sideband. I'll show you that the cl uh, clarifier is unlocked. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, these things sound great. These things sound absolutely great on sideband. And uh, I'm just going to vary this clarifier now. It goes that way, and then I could turn it this way, and you can hear it go off frequency. So if this thing ever comes off, which um, it's really, you know, not going to, yeah, these things are super, super radios. All right. So that's the uh, sideband there test. Show you the clarifier is unlocked. She's all ready to go. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'll just show you the receive. These things do have a good little receiver in them for a small radio. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, we're back here, and looks like we're at about a negative 109. And there's our, um, well, it was just at 11 there, I-11s, 10, okay. A good little receiver on it. Now let's take the sideband lower side. Just going to change this to where I need it. Okay, just my clarifier a hair. And dial this down. Like one. 20, yeah, 123. So, for a little tiny mobile radio, one, 11 and change, almost 12. Um, you're not going to get much better than that for this little guy. So, good, good stuff. And uh, get her headed back your way. Appreciate you sending it in. Let me check it out. And uh, hopefully. You know, you get to, I think you said it might have been a family member's radio, so hopefully you get some more use out of it now, and uh, now that it's in your hands, and there's all your old caps, okay, and uh, yeah, I mean, use a, you could use a stock mic on this, you could use a noise canceling mic, um, they're not too finicky with what mic they take, and uh, it's got good, good ears, good audio, so hope you enjoy it, good sideband rig, whatever you want to do with it, should suit you well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Radio Garage. Broft Key.